What is going on YouTube? Well, welcome back to JW Sports Talk Show, wherever fans welcome in. Today's episode, we're going to be going through the Minnesota Vikings schedule, giving you my overall thoughts, my overall opinions on who they're going to beat, who they're going to lose, and give you my record prediction. So let me know what you agree or disagree with me. Um, Let me know what you think the Minnesota Vikings record is going to be. So let's get into it. So week one, they travel to Cincinnati to play the Bengals. And this is a game where I'm going to take the Minnesota Vikings week one. I have the Minnesota Vikings coming out, having a good week one. Um, I think Dalvin Cook's going to be able to run fine. I think that the wide receivers are going to do fine. I think Kirk Cousins is going to do fine. I think that offensive line is going to do fine. Um, yeah, the Bengals team, you know, the Bengals team is a good team, man. Um, you know, they're, they're young and upcoming. That's the thing, you know. They still got really young players who are still trying to learn, still trying to figure out who they are in the NFL. Um. Obviously, Joe Burrows, you know, he's a solid quarterback. I'm not questioning him. Jamar Chase is going to come in and be a, an awesome wide receiver. You have Tyler Boyd, Higgins. Um, then you have CJ Uzuma. That offensive line is still pretty darn bad. Um, the running back, you really do like Joe Mixon. But, you know, that defense has still gotten some things to work on, like I said. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take that Vikings offense over the Cincinnati offense, and I'm also gonna take that Cincinnati or that that, that Minnesota Vikings defense over that Cincinnati defense. So I think Minnesota is gonna come away with a victory week one, week two. The travel to the Arizona Cardinals, and this is another game I I think could be a really good game. But you know what? I'm gonna take the Minnesota Vikings in week two at the Arizona Cardinals. Man, I'm not a big fan of this Arizona Cardinals team. Um, not a big fan of the system. Not a big fan of you know. Especially Kyler Murray in this type of system. Um, I'm really not a big fan of Kyler Murray. He really, really struggles from the pocket. And when he can't escape the pocket, he has really not shown the ability to have a great pocket presence. He really has not. Um, you know, so I, I think that that Vikings offense I've, with Kirk Cousins, Jefferson, Thielen, Cook, Derisaw, um, all these other dudes, I think they're going to do just fine. And I think that defense, you know, it may struggle a little bit versus Arizona. You know, I think Kyler Murray is going to be able to run and get out of the pocket a bit because I'm not a big fan of the Minnesota Vikings defensive line. I think it's a little, you know, not as good as it was, but, you know, it's still maybe average. So I'm taking Minnesota week two at the Arizona Cardinals. Week three at home versus Seattle Seahawks. Another really good game, man. Um, But I'm actually going to take the Seattle Seahawks in week three against the Minnesota Vikings. Um. You know, Vikings have a really good start, man. They had a really good start, and, you know, I think they're going to lose this game against Seattle. I think Russ, DK, um, Lockett, and I think that offensive line is, gonna, is a little better than some people people may think of the Seahawks. They made some additions. Um, Chris Carson is going to be able to run a little bit. Um, Russ may run a little bit. Um, even though Russ, you know, hasn't been running a lot lately, he, you know, he's kind of losing that a little bit. But, you know, that's going to happen at – once you start start surpassing the age of 30. So, um, yeah, I'm taking the Seattle week three, week four. At, you know, they're at home versus the Cleveland Browns, man. I'm I'm taking the Browns in this one. Um, get me wrong. I really do think the Vikings are a darn good team. Uh, maybe not darn good. You know, maybe they're, maybe they're above average. Um, and I think their offense brings them above that, of course. Um, the Cleveland Browns, man, they're – a Super Bowl contender, and I think they're going to be able to handle the, the Minnesota Vikings in Minnesota. Week five, they're at, the Minnesota Vikings are at home versus the Detroit Lions. I'm going to take the Vikings over the Lions. Um, the only thing I really like about this Lions team is the offensive line. I, I think that offensive line is, you know, probably going to be top ten, uh, maybe top twelve, if not top ten. Um, other than that, you have a quarterback who's hot, very hot and cold. You have um, wide receiver group that's very unknown. Not a big fan. Um, they have a nice tight end. The uh, running back has a lot of potential. Defense, eh, you know, they don't have too much in defense. Maybe Jeffrey Okuda steps up. Um, not a big fan over there. I do like Tracy Walker, but outside of that, man, I don't see too much there. So um, I'm giving the Vikings a win here against the division rival. Week six at the Carolina Panthers. I'm gonna give the no. I'm gonna give the Vikings this win. Um, you know, the Panthers are, you know, a difficult team to predict, be, to predict because of Sam Darnold. Um, I'm not a Sam Darnold fan whatsoever. Even the, even in this system, um, I'm not a fan of the Matt Rule system, to be honest with you. He's okay. Um, I think there are times where he could do much better. Um, 
yeah, I'm going to take the Minnesota Vikings over the Carolina Panthers. Yeah, they do have some nice weapons. Yeah, they do have some decent, have some nice defensive talent, but I'm taking the Minnesota Vikings. Week 7, they have their bye week. Week 8, they're at home to play the Dallas Cowboys. This is, good. This is going to be another good game as well. Um, this is one of the games I actually have circled for the year. Um, this is going to be a really fun game, week 8. Um, really high-scoring game. I'm usually not into those really high-scoring games. I mean, they're fun and all, but but I but I like the old school games. I like the not a lot of scoring games, but this is the one of the high scoring games I'm gonna be really interested in. Um you know, there's gonna be a lot of scoring. A lot of scoring. You know, both defenses, you know, have the potential to be, you know, maybe maybe average, uh, maybe mediocre. Um but both offenses are pretty darn high powered. So who am I gonna take? Um who, who who do I think has better defense? Um, I don't know, man. I, I really don't know, but I'm gonna take that Dallas offense over the Vikings offense on a prime time game. Um, as we know, Kirk isn't you know the best in prime time. He has shown that he is struggling in prime time, but you know I'm gonna take Dallas on this one. Week nine, they travel to Baltimore. I'm gonna give the Ravens this one in Baltimore. Um, I think that defense is, you know, really good. The corners are really good. I, they may, you know, I think the Vikings will be able to run a little bit on them. But passing, they may really struggle to pass. Um, you know, um, they do run a really similar offense to the Browns. And as we saw last year when the Ravens played the Browns offense a few times, that Ravens offense, or that Ravens defense, especially in that second game towards the end of the year when that was, you know, one of my favorite games of all time, um, Man, the Ravens really struggled versus that offense, and could this be an offense where they struggle against? Because you know they haven't really played this offense either. So maybe, so so maybe the Vikings do find a way to beat the Ravens in Baltimore. But I'm gonna take Baltimore. I'm gonna take that defense. I'm gonna take Lamar Jackson in that offense. Week ten at the Los Angeles Chargers. I think you know two. You know I think um Chargers. You know Brandon Staley. You know I th- I think he's gonna br- I think he's gonna bring that defense to another level. Um. The offense is going to be really good with um, Keenan Allen, Justin Herbert, Mike Williams, Guyton, Johnson, Palmer, Eckler, Jackson, um, Slater, Laga, Lindsley. The list goes on and on and on and on. So I'm going to take the Chargers in this one. I think the Chargers are, you know, I, I think that defense is going to do decent versus the Minnesota Vikings offense because of Brendan Staley. That's going to be a big difference. And, and then I think that offense is going to be able to execute. Week 11, Minnesota Vikings are at home versus the Green Bay Packers. Um, you know, I, I definitely think that the Vikings could beat the Packers once. Question is, you know, can they? You know, of course, it's a big question. It is a divisional matchup. It's very possible. But I think I'm going to have the Packers taking this one. Even though it's in Minnesota, it's at home. I'm predict- I, I'm I'm going to be predicting as Aaron Rodgers is playing and Devontae Adams is playing, and I think that Green Bay offense is going to be able to run it, pass it, do what they need to do. Um, and and I think the Green Bay defense is better, so I think they're a more balanced team. Of course, I'm going to take Green Bay. Week 12 at the San Francisco 49ers. This is a game where I'm going to take the Minnesota Vikings. Um, you know I like San Fran, but I don't think they're as good as some people say. Um, as some people think they are, I, you know, they, you know, they are a balanced team, but I still think they need a little more pop. You know, Fred Warner, you know, he's a really darn good linebacker, one of the best in the league. Um, you have, you have Nick Bosa who was coming off an injury. So, so note that down, um, take that as a note. Um, on offense, they do have really young, unproven guys in the wide receiver core, um, Tight end, George Kittle. I do like George Kittle, as we all do. He's one of the better tight ends in the league. Offensive line is solid. Trent Williams, Mike McClinchy. Um, you know, quarterback, you know, I don't think any team is really going to be too scared of Jimmy G throwing the ball and nor Trey Lance. But teams are going to have to respect Trey Lance's ability to run. So that may help Trey Lance a little more. But I don't think Trey Lance is ready. But I, but I think Minnesota is going to win this game. I think that offense is going to be able to score more. Week 13 at the Detroit Lions. I'm going to take the Minnesota Vikings in this one as well. Um, yeah, I'm having the Vikings sweep the Lions. Um, like I said, I like that Lions offense line. That's about it. So, week 14, they're at home versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, you know, defense versus offense. That's kind of what this game is. But 
I'm going to take that Minnesota Vikings offense. Um, that that Minnesota Vikings offense is really darn good, and that Minnesota defense or the offensive line is actually getting a lot better, especially with Christian Darisaw. So, um, I mean, I really like the Minnesota Vikings versus Pittsburgh Steelers. I, I, you know, I, you know, I think that offense is going to do fine versus that team. Um, I think her cousins will do fine. It is a Thursday night game. Remember that. Um, Kirk usually struggles in those type of games. Um, Monday night games, those kind of games. But I think Kirk um beats Pittsburgh on prime time. Um, week fifteen at the Chicago Bears. Um, in prime time again, Kirk Cousins. Um, you know, not his strong point to say the least. Um, but I'm gonna take the Chicago Bears in this one. Um, Monday night prime time. Chicago Bears defense. I think you know they could they they could at least limit the run. They can you know limit that pass a little bit with that pass rush is going to help definitely. Um, does the Chicago Bears offense scare you? Not really right now. Um, but they're going to run the crap out of the ball, and that's where Minnesota is going to struggle. They want to pound the crap out of that ball, so. I'm taking Chicago there, week 16 at home versus the Los Angeles Rams. Um, this could be a game that surprises people, I think. Um, you know, yeah, Minnesota's defense isn't the greatest. So the Rams can probably, you know, score pretty, you know, consistently on them. But the Vikings offense, man, you know, Dalvin Cook is a really darn good running back. And that offense line is getting better for the Vikings. Um, you know, they're going to have to respect the pass a bit because of Justin Jefferson and, and Adam Thielen. So I think this is I think this is an upset. I think that the Vikings are going to beat the Rams because, you know, the Rams' weakness, I think, is against the run game because of the linebackers. And, and, and I'm going to take that Minnesota run game, and I think Kirk is going to be able to do just, just enough. So taking them in an upset there. Week 16 at the Green Bay Packers. You know, I'm gonna take the Packers in this one again. I really like that Packers defense. Like I said, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm predicting as Aaron Rodgers is playing and Devontae Adams is playing as well. Taking the Packers to sweep the Minnesota Vikings. I know. Week 18 at home versus the Chicago Bears. Um, you know, I kind of want to go with the Minnesota Vikings the second time around. I kind of think that the Vikings are gonna um split with Chicago, get swept by the Packers. <laughs> um. And what was the other team? They're going to get swept by Chicago. No, 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 no. They're going to get swept by the Packers. They're going to split with Chicago. And they're going to sweep the Lions. I, 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 I think that's fair. I think that's fair. That's like three and three. I think that's fair. So I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to give the Vikings this win here in the second time around. So I have them beating Cincinnati, Arizona. Um, losing to Seattle, losing to Cleveland, beating Detroit, beating Carolina. So, but week seven of the bye week, they're four and two, not too bad. And then they go on a pretty bad skid. Um, they lose to Dallas, they lose to Baltimore. I do think they could upset Baltimore, though. I do think they could upset Baltimore. And, you know, they could beat Los Angeles. They, you know, they, you know, um, as I'm losing to Dallas, losing to Baltimore, losing to LA, losing to Green Bay, beating San Fran. Beating Lions again, beating Pittsburgh, losing to Chicago, beating the, the Rams um, in an upset, losing to Green Bay again, beating Chicago to end up the year. So I have them going, you know, like eight, nine wins, maybe 10. Maybe they do win what, that Baltimore or LA game, which I can see. Um, yeah, this is um, a fun team. This is a, an interesting team, to say the least. They have a really good run game. Um, they could pass. Kirk Cousins is better than people think. Um, I, I I think people crap on Kirk Cousins a little more than they should. But the Vikings get nine, ten wins. I think, and I think that might be enough to make the playoffs in the in the NFC. So, think. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you did enjoy this video, um, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Put those little post notification bell on. If I didn't do your favorite team yet, I'm getting there. I have, I have to finish up this NFC um, North and then do the NFC South. So. Almost done with these. Then we'll do um we'll do division predictions. We'll give you my thoughts on what I think is going to win each prediction or division. Um, playoff predictions, Super Bowl picks, that kind of stuff. And you know I'm also going to do player rankings. So 
get into that soon. So I thank you for tuning into the JDW Sports Talk Show. Where your fans welcome, and as always, I will catch you guys next time.